Hi everyone, welcome to another video. My name is Shantanu and in this video I'm going to be talking about algo trading strategies and how you as an individual can create an algo trading strategy and deploy your strategy live. Right. Uh, so before starting, I'll probably talk about what algo trading means and uh, if, if you don't know the term, how it can benefit you and what is the software that we are going to use today and is whether it is free or not and yeah stuff like that so i'll start with algo trading strategies first and in order to understand it in a very easy way i'll take references of two persons one is someone who knows coding and the other one who doesn't know anything about coding right now it so happens that both these people are invested into the stock market and so the first person what the, what he does is uh, he just, you know, automates all of his trading using algorithm algorithms and he deploys it to the live market. Uh, and what that means is that the algorithm on his behalf takes the trades and, uh, you know, he just, you know, invests his time elsewhere instead of looking at the markets every time, right? So it's not like he's sitting in front of his computer whenever the market opens, he's like, okay, I should probably wait for this signal to appear. Okay, I should wait for probably that signal to appear, um, stuff like that. Uh, but instead of that, his algo trading strategy does all of that. And in the end, maybe what he does is he reviews all of the trades that were, take, that were taken throughout the day. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So the idea is that algo trading, you know, automates all of your trading. And it's you who is creating the strategy, but ultimately, it's your algorithm who places the trade. So that's the difference between norm, normal trading and algo trading. And uh, in this video, I'm going to be talking about a software which is free and which is OS independent. And uh, we're going to be creating a simple strategy, a simple EMA uh, process above moving average uh, strategy. And finally, what we'll do is we'll backtest that strategy over 30 years of data. And finally, we'll, you know, deploy it live using virtual money, right? So let's start and I'm going to share my screen. Right. Uh, so if you can see my screen, then uh, this is the website that I was talking about. Uh, it's called bitemind.io. And what these guys do is they allow you to create strategies without any coding knowledge. And it's just a simple graphical user interface that you need to interact with. And then you can, you know, create your strategies and do all of the back testing and forward testing stuff. So in order to sign up, what you'll have to do is you'll have to click here, register for free. And when you, and, and when you fill all of the onboarding forms, then you'll be redirected to this dashboard. Uh, this is the bike mine console and you can, you know, add, talks to your watch list. You, this is the strategy metrics uh, section that we have. So for example, if you create five strategies, then this will you know, fill up automatically. Uh, now what we need to do is first, we need to click on signal builder because this is the part where we are most interested in. Uh, next, we have to create one strategy. So for, for, for this video, I'm going to be taking ITC as an example. So the symbol is itc.ns. The time frame will be one day because my strategy is, you know, a swing strategy and it'll take some time for it to hit the target of the stop loss. Uh, then I'm going to name this ITC strategy demo, right? And then I'm going to click on get started, right? So when you click on get started, this is the canvas that gets loaded up. As you can see, we have ITC strategy demo here, and uh, we have backtest option over here and certain options over here. Uh, let's actually, you know, let's actually, you know, zoom out a bit and figure out what this canvas is. And if you can see here, we have last rated price. This is supposed to be our starting point. And on the right hand side, we have buy and sell. These two blocks are supposed to be our ending point. Uh, for now, what we'll do is we'll we'll uh, consider that we have to only buy, so we'll delete the sell option. 
and it's just buy, right? Uh, right. So now, uh, since my strategy involves EMA and SMA, so I'm going to move, I'm going to be adding those two blocks. Uh, so one way is to you know just type exponential moving average on your keyboard, and automatically it'll load the EMA block. Another way is to click on plus, click on indicator, and then search for your indicator. So in this, I'm going to be adding simple moving average, and yeah, this is it. Uh, now my EMA, I prefer my EMA to be of 20 value and my SMA of 30 value. Uh, this is the close offset. So you, you, you know, by default, I think they consider 10 as the offset, but you can define and customize your own offset. So to the, the, <clears throat> the lower the number, the faster the indicator is. And for me, since 20 and 30 is the, is the number that I really want. Uh, and I'm, you know, specifying this over here. Uh, I'll choose close as the real value over here. Also, I will choose choose clue. Over here, also, I will choose close. And finally, what we want to achieve is uh, we want to say that if the if the and finally, what we want to achieve here is that if the EMA is higher than the SMA, then we place a buy order. So I'm just going to add a higher than symbol, sorry, block. And this is pretty much it. Uh, so EMA is higher than SMA. Then we place a buy order. We specify, we'll specify the take profit and stop loss percentage over here. But yeah, let's now connect our, strat our blocks together. Uh, so an easier way to understand if a block is connected with, with another block is to check what's the traffic signal, traffic light signal over here is. So if you can see LTP is connected to EMA, so that's why it's green, LTP is connected to SMA, it's green. But overall the traffic light signal is red, so that's why you know, I can't click on factors as of now. But if I click on EMA with higher than and SMA with higher than, then you'll see that these, the color of the, these two traffic lights have also changed. Uh, finally, I'll just connect this higher than with buy, and this is actually my whole strategy. Uh, so again, the strategy says that the if the current price uh, for the current price, if EMA is is higher than simple moving average of thirty value, then um, place a buy order. Right? Otherwise, do nothing. And finally, I'll just place my take profit and stop loss percentages. And yeah, this is pretty much it. This is our whole strategy. So once you're done creating your strategy, you just need to click on backtest. And uh, you know, your strategy goes into the back end, they process your strategy, and finally, uh, this is what you'll see once you click on view report. Right, so if you can see on my screen, so right, so if you can see our strategy was actually unsuccessful. So <laughs> the trades that were taken were uh, uh, 15 lakh trades over 30 years of data. Uh, successful was 68,000, sorry, 6 lakhs, 84,000 something, and unsuccessful were 8 lakhs, 60,000 something. Um, Okay, this was the percentage. We also have the sharp ratio. We also have we have the symbol with us. Instrument type is equity. That's fine. Now comes the main uh, main um, chart, if you would call it. And this is how they compare. So they have black labeled as our strategy, which we just create just created, <clears throat> and they have a benchmark, which is in yellow, and which means that. Uh, if you invested the same amount, which is 10,000 at in 96, right? In January, January 96, then you would have achieved a total of 10,166. It's in GBP, but you can assume it's in rupees. So that's the overall investment return that you would have gotten. But at the same time, if you, you know, implemented algo trading using your, using, using this strategy, then the amount would have been like way higher. 
10,500 something, right? And this is pretty much it. In the at the bottom, we have all of these details of the trades that were taken, and uh, yeah, this is the report that gets generated once you click on backtest and once you test your strategy. Uh, now, one another thing that I wanted to show you is if you go back to Signal Builder, you'll notice that here your strategy is listed, and uh, what now you can do is. You can, since you have, since they say that once you have created your strategy, once you have back tested it, then you are, um, then you can, you know, forward test it. And what forward test here means that you can essentially deploy your strategy in the live market and bike mine will, you know, trade that strategy using virtual money. So if I click on this toggle, then it'll say strategy deployed. Right, and then I, I'll be able to access my order book. So it says that our engine is running your strategy in the background, which is fine because right now the market is closed. It's Sunday. Yeah. So whenever the trades uh, will take place, this order book will automatically, you know, get. Now, a short disclaimer uh, I am the founder of Bytemine, and it's probably one of the reasons why, you know, I haven't been able to post videos for a long time. Uh, because I had me and my co-founder, you know, we were working on building this up, but it's live now for you guys. And, uh, you know, it's, it's in beta mode, so you can access and create your strategies. You can backtest those strategies. You can forward test and, you know, access the order book whenever you feel like it's free for now. So I would highly encourage all of you to, you know, get on board as soon as possible. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions, just leave. A comment down below hit the like button and uh, let me know if you have any questions yeah I, I think i probably said that but yeah this was it and thanks guys for your time uh, i'll probably make more videos from now on because uh, now i think i have some time with me and if you want more videos on more strategies on bite mine maybe more uh, macd rsi strategies uh, that you know that we can create using this uh, GUI, then please let me know in the comments below.